Hi there, welcome to Perfume in the Breeze. Thank you for joining Boone and I here by the pool. Today I am reviewing a fragrance by Askar Ali called Faras Al Adham. Faras Al Adham. My Arabic is limited, I could not tell you with any certainty at all uh, what Faras Al Adham means. But I'm guessing from the fragrance that it's not anything terribly inspired. This smells like a boys' locker room to me. This smells like being in secondary school and having to get changed to do PE. And then after PE, no one showers because no one wants to get naked in front of their classmates. And everyone just would spray cheap in pound shop deodorant. And that is what this smells like to me. It smells like a cheap functional fragrance and I don't like it. If you passed me on the street wearing this, I'd be glad you were wearing something than nothing, but I wouldn't think anything of you. I wouldn't, I'd think nothing about your personality. I would think nothing of your humor. This is a very basic functional fragrance. This, is sim this isn't a personal perfume or an expression of oneself. This is, this just functions so as you don't smell of B.O. I would not recommend this to any adult. This is not a woman's fragrance, it's for men, clearly. Um, it has this kind of bright, luminous quality to it, which I think is a combination of some sort of orange or mandarin and some very, very noxious woody ambers, and that seems to be a a recurring theme is some of these Ascarelli fragrances that I'm going to review today. If you gift this to a 14 year old boy, he is going to love it and he is going to use it and he is going to be, um, he's going to smell like a 14 year old boy. And that's, that's I, I, can ima I don't know if that's who this fragrance was designed for, but that's certainly who I imagine who I would imagine would wear this. This is a fragrance for after the gym, um, or for a teenage boy. This is not the scent of a sophisticate. I don't know, the more I smell it, the more I'm smelling like interesting kind of, at least I'm trying to smell something kind of interesting underneath it. Some green, interesting elements, some metallic elements. But it just smells very artificial. I think this smells like a urinal cake. Um, that is only my opinion, and you might smell it and love it. If you like sporty fragrances that have very little personality, uh, this might be right up your street. But if that's what you like, I can't imagine how or why you stumbled across my channel. If you are like me, an oud lover, or a lover of, of, of luxury and civic, and leather and musk and beautiful roses and beautiful irises and, and you won't find any of that in here. This is... This is extremely boring and I have nothing more to say about it. Now, if you are interested in a more interesting fragrance, you should check out Zhivago Fragrances. That's a company I do some work for. There's a discount code right here in the, uh, uh, in the description. Uh, we do some beautiful scents, especially for women. We have some really stunning scents. If you're looking for a gift, check us out because uh, I know we have exactly what you're looking for. Um, all right, well, I have a few more Ascarelli fragrances that I'm reviewing today, so do check out my other videos. Feel free to press like if you enjoyed this, if you want to see some more from my collection, and I have, believe me, a huge collection, and I'm very excited to share with you um, uh, some some more from it. Uh, today actually I have a um, beautiful black bottle full of samples but I have over a hundred full-size bottles as well and I'll be introducing them to you throughout the week to come. So stay tuned, um, like, subscribe, comment, whatever you want to do. Uh, be kind to each other, take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye!